hey what's up youtube so this video is kind of crazy because i want to argue and theorize that a deaf devil fruit could exist in the one piece world i don't think it's that of an unrealistic idea since the past week we just had the revelation of the toki toki no mi so i guess any other devil fruit is just not gonna be as mind blowing okay let's first discuss about who i believe would have this devil fruit and if you saw my thumbnail which i'm sure you did then you'd know that it's Doc Q, the medical doctor for the Blackbeard Pirates. But why do I think he would have it? And what power would it grant the user? But why do I even think a devil fruit like this could even exist in the One Piece world? So, I'll start off with giving Doc Q a brief introduction. He was struck with a severe disease when he was little and he still has the same disease as an adult. This disease has made him rely on his horse stronger for a lot of things. And his bounty is unknown, but since he's part of Blackbeard's crew, I think it's safe to say he has to have a pretty high bounty. And his epithet is Death God, and he's always seen carrying around a cipher that's wrapped in cloth. Now, let's focus on his appearance, as he looks very pale. Aspects that relate with his appearance can relate to his poor health due to his chronic disease, which he caught when he was young. What I really find interesting is that he's very similar to Hawkins, and that's because he's, he's always relating situations to fate. That's kind of strange, but also very mysterious, I mean, Hawkins is continuously linking characters' fates to percentages, and we've seen Doc Q do the same, minus the percentage part. In the manga, when we were introduced to Doc Q, we see him trying to give Luffy an apple, which obviously Luffy eats, but the apple doesn't explode, and Doc Q says it's because Luffy is lucky. So, now let's talk about Shinigamis. Now, if you don't know, Shinigamis are a Japanese folklore. They're seen as supernatural deities that invite people to death. One way they do this is by possessing that individual and bringing them to commit suicide. They are able to know when someone is about to die. And we've seen depictions of these creatures in other mangas like Naruto and in Bleach. But yet we haven't seen them in One Piece. I find it strange how Oda, someone who takes a lot of inspiration from cultural folklore, especially from Japanese culture. But yet he has not drawn any Shinigamis in the story of One Piece. Okay. So let's now connect the dots and I'll explain how Shinigamis and Doc Q can be linked to a deaf devil fruit. So I speculate that Doc Q has a devil fruit which allows him to sense how close someone is to their death and if they are very close then with his devil fruit he can decide on how they die. And with his devil fruit he can summon a creature that resembles a Shinigami that could forcefully convince people to commit suicide. Compared to the other devil fruit powers we've seen in the story already I really don't think that this is too strange. Now, I think a devil fruit like this can be a paramecia because we've seen questionable devil fruits that allow users to transform into creatures like Hawkins' devil fruit. So, I think this devil fruit would follow suit with how Hawkins' devil fruit works, and Doc Q would be able to transform into a Shinigami or summon a Shinigami and be able to use the Shinigami to cause people to commit suicide and choose how they die. Anyway, guys, this is where I end the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content dislike if you didn't but thanks for watching peace